What's going on there, folks? Good evening. It's the Earthmaster here, back at it on this Monday night, January 23rd, 2023. It's about 9.29 uh, p.m. here along the West Coast in California. And the latest quake shows a 3.0 earthquake coming into the area of the Big Island of Hawaii. Things starting to ramp up there slightly. Also there, once again, into California and off the coast of Oregon. Let's go ahead and check out some activity happening here uh, along the coast. Now, just off the southern end of the uh, coastline here, northern California border. Got uh, some activity kicking up here around the Cascadia Megathrust area. Nothing big uh, for now, but there's a, a little bit of earthquake activity. Very shallow, just off the coast of Brookings. 6.5 uh, kilometers for a 2.7 uh, coming in just earlier this evening, and also a 1.9. Now, these are very shallow earthquakes, kind of up where you would expect to see the um, the locked area, um, although those are actually a little bit more shallower, should be down slightly. Uh, either way, it's kind of out there in the Cascadia Fold and Thrust Belt, uh, and that is where the, uh, well, the Oceanic Crusher kind of gets deformed. Uh, raises also slightly um, over time and uh, that's due to the stress along the subduction zone with the Juan de Fuca plate here being shoved underneath the North American plate which sits over here to the east so a little bit of activity here and it's been that way um, around this region here for a little while now the trimmer activity here tonight shows about 86 epicenters here continued into the northern California area this has been fairly consistent here for this area uh, for a few days. So the stress in this region, Northern California, Cascadia subduction zone, got to watch that. Also offshore here to the Blanco fracture zone uh, earlier this afternoon, seeing a 3.0 out there right uh, on that Blanco fracture zone. A little bit of activity, nothing big yet, but one of these days it will be rocking and rolling out there. Uh, a little more, a little bit, yeah, a little bit of activity down here into the um, region south of the bay most of this activity in this little swarm is from this morning we did have a little 1.5 coming in within the last hour so things still a little active around the bay area today uh, also the ridgecrest area seen some movement within the last hour as well 1.4 uh, now southern california still remains relatively quiet uh, one earthquake though 1.0 uh, coming along the san jacinto fault zone but overall Seismic activity here, fairly quiet in Southern California. Into the uh, Pacific Northwest, uh, a little bit of activity out here towards Eastern Washington, near the uh, Kennewick area, it looks like, 0.6 and a 0.3. Nothing major going on there, uh, but a little bit of strange activity. Uh, Mount St. Helens, very small microquake activity from last night and this morning, some very small microquakes. Uh, one earthquake out here around the Newberry Volcano. Newberry Crater in Oregon, 0.4. On that note, I want to check and see what's going on with the uh, volcano seismicity map there at the Newberry Volcano. There's that one earthquake in question, so we're going to check out this local three, uh, three component broadband station around the north rim it looks like. And see if we got uh, any activity here. Wow. It's a little overblown. Um, let me see if we can pick up a different station within that area. Uh, I don't think this one was operationable. Let me, operable. Let me see here if it's going to work or not. Just want to get a clearer view of uh, what could potentially be going on. Still, um, this one's out of whack as well. This one looks a little bit more uh proper in tunes of uh, potentially seeing some activity uh maybe some very small microquakes here listed but uh, overall not a whole lot going on there at the uh newberry volcano there in oregon i sometimes like to double check make sure uh yellowstone national park up here a couple small earthquakes being registered this morning and late last night and uh, we'll go ahead and check out the activity here across the park Looks like the majority of that activity has died down from overnight and this morning. Uh, a couple, it looks like a little handful of earthquakes here over the last few hours, but uh, generally very small microquake activity tonight. Oklahoma, Texas area, not a whole lot going on. Eastern portion of the country as well. 
Puerto Rico. This is um, kind of keeping an eye on it. This swarming activity kind of comes and goes down here around the southwestern edge of Puerto Rico that has since died off again. And uh, we're getting some further activity here around the Puerto Rico Trench in the 2 and 3 range. Uh, last earthquake here, a 2.3 and a 3.4 kind of scattered about uh, the Puerto Rico area. South America got uh, a little bit of movement, including a 3.9. Up along the Peru Chile Trench. Now, this one here, very close to the uh, subduction zone level, uh, the area would, where you would uh, expect to see kind of some big ones popping off out there. But for now, 3.9 being reported by the USGS. And uh, about that time, we did see a 4.2 kicking off here, a little bit further north and a little bit deeper into the area of the Peru Chile Trench. Big Island, Hawaii. Uh, let's see what we got going on here. It's lighting up a little bit. Quite a few red circles here on the map. Getting a little separate swarming off here, uh, just to the northwest of the uh, Lohi Seamount and around the Pahala and the Kilauea Volcano area. Uh, nothing major going on currently, uh, aside from the uh, Kilauea Volcano eruption, uh, which is not major, just continuing. 2.5 way out here as well into this, uh, this uh, channel area, it looks like. Don't see too much earthquake activity out there, but it does happen from time to time. One earthquake way up into the Brooks Range of Alaska, 4.0 coming in earlier this afternoon, relatively shallow at about a kilometer or so. And uh, some movement outside of Anchorage to the southwest. A couple small earthquakes here in this uh, this little lake, not for sure, or, or this little bay area it looks like. It's hard to tell. It might be a lake. Uh, a couple twos and uh, even a three-pointer in that mix there. Western Pacific all quiet again. Uh, we're still seeing quite a bit of activity uh, confined to this region where that seven-pointer struck here. Oh, um, it's been a few days now. Uh, has it been over seven? I don't believe it has. It's right there. 7.0 struck on the 17th. And it uh, looks like today you're seeing quite a bit of uh, aftershock activity within that region. Quite a few fours and uh, even a 5.3 in that mix. Band of Sea area westward still seeing a little, little bit of activity we have not really filled in that seismic gap yet uh, and a look at the e emsc model here shows the uh, continued lack of activity uh, within this region although it kind of looks like it's starting to try to fill in there's a 3.2 within that same area where we've seen that five pointer this morning mediterranean region relatively quiet aside from the older 5.1 uh, from way earlier and uh, looks like quite a few threes up there around the turkey area Uh, let's see, looking on the map here, looks like we got a whole lot of deep earthquake activity into the Kermadec Trench region down here. Uh, but definitely up north, the latest one, a 4.4, 567 kilometers deep for that earthquake. But down here, um, let's see what we have to report across the GeoNet servers. Definitely seeing some uh, deeper earthquake movement here in this region recently. A couple ones, some twos out there, 2.7. See if we can find some of these uh, deeper earthquakes. 4.2, about three hours ago, well off the coast, um, North Island area, 300 kilometers deep. That's going to be into the uh, uh, Kermadec Trench area. So a couple deep earthquakes out there uh, throughout the day today. Nothing major yet. A uh, quick glance here at the volcano drums. And uh, things look relatively calm across the uh, most of the volcanoes here. As far as the ones that are in operation. All right, uh, space weather activity. Looking, um, looking a lot quieter here now on the sun, the earth-facing side. Saying goodbye to our departing massive sunspot that just kind of hovered around. And uh, it's about ready to drop off the uh, visible disk here. We're left with a whole lot of nothingness, a lot of open space out there. Uh, none of these sunspots that are listed are currently a threat uh, for any flaring. Just going to enter into that uh, little quiet period, it looks like. All right, Aurora forecast, very minimal. Uh, very, very minimal, it looks like there. Not a whole lot popping off tonight for the... Folks that love to look up into the night sky, like me. 
But uh, that's about it, folks. Uh, I think I'm going to call it a night. Today was Monday. Obviously, uh, first day of my uh, classes. It's semester here, spring spring classes. And uh, it was a dandy. They are starting people off right off the bat with, you know, a bunch of quizzes and all sorts of fun stuff. So uh, my brain's a little bit on the overloaded side. I'm going to try and recharge that tonight. Uh, either way, it's going to be a busy, uh, busy week, I have a feeling. But that's okay. Got to gotta keep the, uh, the brain in check. Make sure it's always discovering new knowledge and new information. That's always a good thing. All right, uh, let's see. I think that's about it, folks. Um, uh, definitely a lot of activity out there around the uh, Pahala area. Uh, I, do I even have a Hawaii station up there? Um, doesn't look like it. I thought I had one. Um, so I will be adding that up here onto the um, onto the live stream here far as the uh, Hawaii stations go. So we'll get that up here. Have a good day, folks. <clears throat> we'll catch you guys a little bit later uh, tomorrow sometime. Take care.